Today I'm going to be fitting a race chip S into a 1.4 TSI 150 brake horsepower Seat Leon. Um, I believe this engine is the same for the Volkswagen Audi group, so that's the uh, Mark 7 Golf um, and also the A3. So the instructions that come with it um, don't really resemble the actual engine that's in it, um, but they do send you three pictures um, following that you can download with just some pointed pictures. So like me, if you haven't got a clue, it's going to take you a while to figure out what's got to go where. What I have figured out is that this is the turbo boost pressure sensor and the manifold pressure sensor is located underneath the air filter. So what we've got to do is obviously got to release these clips, these clips, little breathe valve, which is here, and obviously lift off this unit before we can go and fit the actual chip. Right, so with a pair of big mole grips, I've managed to move this bracket here, slide to the side, and this bracket here a little bit up so it should free up the air valve what I need to do now is lift this up out of place because it pops in with three poppers um, and that should allow me to uh, take out the air filter box right with the air filter box now removed um, it's quite easy to see the um, manifold pressure sensor and obviously um, next to it you can actually see the um, turbo pressure sensor um, you can also see if I zoom in here um, the lugs um, that the air filter box has obviously come off so you do need to give it a good tug um, to actually pull the thing off um, what we need to know as well is where we're going to actually locate um, the chip and um, we obviously want it to look neat and tidy and uh, one thing I do say is there's not many places to attach it um, within the engine bay that's going to give access to the, the little screw on top of it to adjust the um, sensitivity um, but what I have thought is that if I can locate it here um, on the um, engine block uh, it should be able to secure it there um, but uh, we should wait and see um, what it looks like when it's in situ so what i suggest now is take a good look at your manual um, obviously um, end a which is here connects into the turbo pressure sensor um, and the sensor that originally came in will go into the other part of a so i've also um, put the um, b into the manifold um, pressure sensor and obviously the wire that came into pressure sensor goes into the other part I've uh, tried to as neatly as I can secure the wires what will be underneath the air box um, so that it looks um, neat and tidy once the air box is in place so I've secured the wires underneath the air box relocated the air box uh, the clips the breather valve etc um, and all I've got now again with a cable tie here to keep it neat and tidy is the um, end ready to be fitted to the actual sensor itself so I've attached the sensor um, and I just need to check now that um, when the ignition turns on the uh, green light turns on so let's see what happens so I've turned the ignition on and as you clearly see the race chip light has lit up green as it says so in the instructions. I've just got to start the engine now and uh, check that uh, that all works fine and the engine lights all go out as per normal. So I've actually checked the engine now, it's all running fine and I've actually connected with um, cable tie the actual chip itself um, to the side of the block which is fairly rust it's not moving up or down um, I think it's probably the neatest place for it um, allowing access to the um, very little top screw um, just in case you need to um, make any changes to the chip itself on the uh, fine change so um, that is um, my quick video of how to install a race chip into a 1.4 TSI 150 brake horsepower 1617 um, Seat Volkswagen Group engine.